people for it's Malinker here and today I am going to be explaining to you guys my opinion about the movie that was made two years ago I am the pretty thing that lives in the house uh, but before we get this video started please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and yeah let's get this video started but before we do I'm gonna make an announcement about my makeup my terrible, terrible eyeliner makeup that I slept, looks like I slept in like two days. I'm making creepy faces, I'm sorry. Well, anyway, I was doing my makeup earlier uh, for TikTok, so that's why I have really, really ridiculous eye makeup on right now, but. Hopefully you guys can see past my terrible, terrible decision on doing a wing eyeliner. Anyway, so I just watched the pretty. Uh, I'm the pretty young thing that lives in the house, and it was terrible. The only thing that I liked about the movie was the actress who played Polly. That's the only thing. I liked about the movie was Polly's character. That's the only thing I liked about it. Like, I wasted an hour and a half of my time watching it. It was way too slow. It was so slow that I almost took a nap and I didn't even miss anything. Like, if you took a nap during that movie and you woke up for the ending, don't worry. You didn't miss anything. That's how bad it was. It was just her. It was just the main character, Lily, walking around the house the whole entire time, checking on things, hardly any dialogue. If there was, when there was dialogue, you hardly, could he you hardly could hear them. You hardly could hear the dialogue. Like, it was so slow. The only thing spooky about this movie was the music and Polly. That was the only thing spooky about it. Oh, and the old lady, um, Iris, the old lady Iris. So basically, now that you got my opinion out of the way, it was terrible. The only thing good about it was the actress who played Polly. That was the only thing good about the movie was. Um, and if you are confused on what the movie is about, I am about to explain it to you. Uh, but before I explain this to you, I had to look up a YouTube video of what it was about because like I didn't even understand the plot I didn't understand what was going on so I had to watch a 17 maybe 14 minute YouTube video about it and explain the whole thing so I'm about to explain to you guys sorry my dog so I'm about to explain to you guys what it's about so basically a girl named lily is a hospice nurse and she is hired to take care of um a old lady um who's an author her name is iris and she um uh, lives in and iris lives in this really old house that has lots of history in it um and Lily, who's the hospice nurse, she is a scaredy cat when it comes to horror stories. She can't even read a horror book without flinching. She can't even watch a horror movie without running away. Like, she cannot handle horror. And so, um, Iris, um, keeps calling Lily Polly. So, Lily is basically intrigued on why Iris keeps calling her Polly. And it turns out that there was a woman named Polly who used to live in that house. And she was murdered by a man. And the man buried her in the wall. Yeah. And so, Iris, when she was young, she wrote a book called... What was it called? I think The Lady in the Wall or something. It was called like The Lady in the Walls. And that was a horror book Iris wrote. But um, 
Lily found out it was a true story. And one night, Lily sees the ghost of Polly. And basically, Polly murders Lily. Like, she feeds on Lily. Oh, there's my sister. Hi, Gracie girl! I'm weirdo. So basically, Polly murders Lily. And for Polly to move on with her life, with for Polly to move on with her life, she had to feed on someone. And so she fed on um, Lily. And so Lily became a ghost. So because there was no one to take care of Iris, Iris died as well. So in the ending, they're basically, you see two bags, um, covering two dead bodies, and then a couple months later, a new family moves in, the house. And now, Lily, for Lily to move on, she has to feed on someone else. So, she's basically haunting two little kids that lives in the house now. So that's basically all it is. It's boring, it's slow. The plot line would have been good if there was more, like, more acting involved and more characters and it would have been better if they explained Polly's past a little bit more because they don't really explain her past and what's happening on her past life. All it really explains is how a man chopped her head off and put her in a wall. That's literally all they explain of um, Polly's past. And I would have liked to know more about Lily's past. Like they had, they didn't show anything about Lily's past on how she decided to become a hospice nurse. They didn't show any of that. And they didn't really show much of Iris's past. All they really showed of Iris's past was her typing on a typewriter. It was a boring movie. And just be, because I just explained the plot to you right now, you don't have to watch it because I just explained it to you. So that movie was made in 2016. Um, because it's now 2019, I and I just watched this movie for the first time. Don't watch it. If you already have because it came out two years ago, I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for myself too because I didn't really like it. I gave it on a 1 to 10 scale, I give it at least a 2. Not even a two. I give it a two because they cast Polly really well and I love that actress. So that's the only reason why I give it a two because I love the actress who plays Polly. But if they didn't get that actress, I would have given it a one. Like, it, it, it's not that good. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And yeah, hope you don't see that movie. I love you guys. Bye.